her smile, her laugh. It's all a part of the electric Kamala energy here at the DNC. And while Trump and others may make fun of that, well, her husband loves it. That's when she called me back. And we talked for an hour and we laughed. Well, you know that laugh. I love that laugh. <laughs> Second gentleman, Doug Emhoff, defending his wife's contagious laugh during his speech Tuesday night. Well, another person who loves that laugh, well, she's made it a viral sensation. All right, Tim Waltz. <laughs> to the window, to the walls. <laughs> Get my feet down the hall. Comedian Allison Rees here with me at the United Center. I love Hello. how you laugh at her laugh that you make laugh. <laughs> it's a laughter paradox. Yeah, I'm it just keeps going. Right now. Yeah, it's a it's, laughter it's paradox. A, it's a circle, right? <laughs> it's like a Venn diagram. You know, these two circles come together and it makes a laughter. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. I have to try and keep it all together here. Why Kamala Harris? Why is this the one that you have sort of wrapped your comedy around you know it's so interesting it just kind of happened that way um i auditioned for the show in 2019 and she was running for president and and doing fun voices was always something that i've had a skill set in and i figured why not use this now when somebody's running for president and i just kind of kept with it as she was still you know in the news being vp going to pride as the vp so that's, yeah. And if you look at the hist history of impersonations, okay, yeah. you've had Dana Carvey doing President George Bush, Tina Fey doing Sarah Palin. Um, it, I was watching Jimmy Fallon last night. I can't remember his name. I'm brain farting. He's the, he does <laughs> Ob Obama. Um, it'll come to me. But anyway, and now we have you with Kamala Harris. What, why, why do you think this resonates so much with folks? You know, I, I think people are hungry to see the world reflected back to them in a comedic way. And you know, uh, I'm obsessed with this article I read forever ago that showed that people will retain information better if it's couched in a joke. Hmm. You know, people, if, if it's like a joke, you'll probably memorize it better than say, just like learning tax theories or whatever. Yeah. I don't even know yeah. what it's called. I was just gonna say, if you were gonna, <laughs> if you were gonna impersonate tax policy, I'm not quite sure I'm gonna dig deep on that, Reese, but okay. And, you know, and yeah, I'm not either, girl. I won't. <laughs> Madam Reese, that might be a whole nother. Um, well, it, so the campaign reached out to you, right? They saw the videos. They saw you were going viral. Yeah. Tell me what that was like and how did you react? That was, it was surreal. They they had reached out to, you know, my management and said, you know, there are all these uh, content creators coming. We would love it if Allison uh, joined in in that uh, group of folks. And it was truly shocking to be like, you know, I'm a comedian from Mesa, Arizona. <laughs> and I was like, are you freaking kidding me right now? <laughs> like, has she seen it? Like, what is this? Is wild. Do you want to meet her? Eventually, yeah. Eventually, I would. What would you tell her? I mean, you're you're having mm. so much fun making fun of her, but in a very <laughs> loving way, of course. But I'm yeah, sure yeah. You, there's some serious things on your mind and why you do love to impersonate her. Yeah, I feel like satire and comedy is a really great way to get a point across, a great way to educate people. And I would definitely, you know, take a moment and, and ask her how we can be more inclusive, how she can be more inclusive, you know, um, and really listen to what young people are saying. I've been talking to a lot of young delegates here, um, and a thing they've been telling me is that they're getting all of their news and information and media from their phones. And I think it was such a great move for them to invite content creators because it's inviting young people into this conversation in a way that hasn't been done before. Do you so. think comedy plays... Because you want young folks to be well-read and Absolutely. really know, know, know the issues. But, of course, you know, we all love comedy. Mm -hmm. Do you think your impersonations and other comedians do sort of light a fire to get maybe the younger folks, you know, more interested in politics? I think so. I think when you have, like, this mesh of comedy plus whatever it is the subject you're learning, it, it really encourages you to, to seek more of that topic, right? Um, I actually, I don't do this alone. I mean, I do the impression alone. I don't have, like, a 
puppet master. But uh, <laughs> I have friends who are more politically savvy than I am who I go to. So y'all showed that Tim Walls video right. that I made. Um, I had made that a week before with a friend of mine who is uh, just so into politics. And I went to her house and she was like, all right, Tim Walls, here are th like, things about him that I studied. And just so that I know that I am putting forth accurate information wow. as well as funny information. That's very important to me as a satirist um, is to give people stuff that's good, funny, and true. So what do you think of Maya Rudolph on SNL doing Kamala Harris? <laughs> I love her. A lot of people, I, I keep doing getting, okay. She's doing great. Are you kidding me? That's my hero. A lot of people are like, I don't know, tagging me and stuff with her and her and stuff with me. And as a woman of color, I do not think that we are in competition. I truly believe that a candle loses nothing by lighting another candle. Mm, the more, the, more yeah. the merrier. The more the merrier. What's the worst that's going to happen? You're going to light up a room, let other people shine? Like... I think what she's doing is amazing and needed, and I love it. All right, so. now, Allison Reese, you just went bye-bye, yeah. okay? Um, <laughs> um, mm. Vice President Kamala Harris. Yeah. Um, I, I, it's so nice, by the way, to, to, to meet you in person. Um, <laughs> it, I get that a lot. Yeah. I'm just curious. I, I always want to scoop as a journalist. Could right. you give me any insight in, into your speech tonight? Okay, well, here's a little taste, all right? I'm going to come out and be like... Wow, we all exist in this context. <laughs> and we are all unburdened by what has been. <laughs> mm. it's, it's my party. <laughs> but we ain't crying, we laughing. <laughs> Allison Reese, <laughs> you made our day. You made mine. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. I'll see you tonight, Madam Vice President. Mm, yeah. <laughs> okay.